I thought about getting LASIK, but I found out if it's cosmetic, you have to pay for it. And I'm not paying for that. My contacts already cost too much and I hate wearing my glasses all of a sudden. Oops. I can see now and I'm showing mad chest. I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is, but I've been in a super uh, vloggy type of mood. Here I am. Vlogging. This is a really bad angle. I've just been in a super vloggy mood recently. And you know what? I think it's because I've vlogged for like, I don't know, six <gasps> days straight. Past the normal times I usually do it. <laughs> ah. Jesus. Today we have some plans. We have some very interesting plan. I'm lying. They're not interesting. This is just what I'm doing on a random Wednesday. But here we are. It's always gonna be fun. We have errands to run. We have tasks to do. All that. But I can't do that if I have hot ass. So I'm gonna brush my teeth and then we're gonna go make breakfast and then we're gonna go dry. and then we're gonna leave the house because yes anyway. Jesus, all these fucking bags. Let's make some breakfast, shall we? Oh, the eggs rolling away. Today it's giving very much toast, eggs, <laughs> toast, eggs, sausage. And it's only really giving this because I have no groceries. I don't know what has been up, but I haven't been grocery shopping in like two weeks. And now I'm paying the price. But sometimes I get tired of toast with too much butter, eggs taste nasty, and sausage just don't be hitting sometimes. And I don't think that's really my fault. I feel like I haven't done just a regular day in my life in literally eons. Oh my God, I dropped the shell in the bowl. Errands to run, things to do, not necessarily people to see, but you're seeing me, so that has to count for something. I already know what I kind of want to do today, but I'm not going to tell you because sometimes you just want to get dragged along, so you're going to be following me around. Oh shit, that's not the trash. I don't know what it is, but I've just been in a super chatty mood and I was like, why talk to people when I could just film myself living my life on the internet? I think you guys will thoroughly like this one. And the gag is, because I'm in such a chatty mood today, I know I'm gonna wanna film tomorrow. So you guys are probably gonna be getting a vlog tomorrow. Uh, I was on, what was I on? Did I get on TikTok yesterday? I don't think I got on TikTok yesterday. Breaking generational curses. I was on um that big blue wretched Twitter app. I'm not claiming it is x.com. That sounds like an adult site I don't wanna be a part of. I don't know what that man is doing up at Twitter HQ. But quite frankly, he's getting on my last nerve. But anyway, I was on Twitter, you know, catching up on my morning news. When I tell you, every, I feel like Twitter has the same recycled content every single four business days. All I see on my timeline is Flynn Ryder with a bunch of knives to his face. And people just keep saying, what such as pity is gonna make you end up like this? And that's cool and everything, right? My thing is, we've officially circled back to the point where the opinions aren't even unpopular, just things you shouldn't be doing. I don't know what it is, but whenever people give the bare minimum on Twitter, it gets hundreds of thousands of likes just for not being an idiot. And I don't know if I can get on the app anymore because it's just, it's become too much. It's a cesspool for people who get on my nerves. Usually it's Instagram reels, but I don't, I can't even, I, Please don't get me started. I need butter. I was talking to you guys via Google. Damn, I'm really close. I was talking to you guys via um Google form the other day, aka like 12 hours ago. And I was asking about like your feedback on my content because I feel like Google forms are one professional as hell. Like, you got a question, put it in the Google form. I want to figure something out from y'all, put it in the Google form. I was asking y'all about my content and I have been loving the answers so far. You guys are actually like putting very thoughtful like responses to my things in there and I really do appreciate it. I want to say thank you because I really do appreciate when you guys talk to me outside of like um which we'll call it outside of feedback i like when you guys talk to me period especially because it matters the most what the f is going on here it's just oh my goodness hi i just finished breakfast it's given bird food but you know what it's fine let me pick out what we're wearing today so the high today is 59 oh nope the high today is 74 degrees so i have to dress accordingly i got these new jeans from american eagle that i wanted to wear today they're the american eagle highest rise baggy straight jeans and i haven't worn blue jeans in so long to the point where i almost forgot how to style these we're gonna attempt to do that i think it just depends on what top i wear because i don't 
usually don't like wearing blue jeans anymore just because this is not really my thing but i was like let me just buy more jeans because i only have one i have two three pairs of jeans the rest are cargos or like track pants so i was like you know what let's act like we have some sense please so we're gonna have these on today these are a size four so it might be a little big in a way but it's nothing i'm tripping about these are brand new i love american eagle jeans so bad since i'm gonna be in and out of stores today i think it's the best if i have something i could take on and off because one thing about me i'm gonna get hot while i'm doing something still sees calling my name but it don't make no type of sense i did get this red and black like racer jacket from urban outfitters but i don't think i'm doing the whole red white and blue no no american pride here i did also get this black and kind of off-white racer jacket i think this could be cute you think this could be cute with like a little not white shirt but maybe like a little faded white top underneath with the blue i don't know what shoes we would wear but i think it's like fine i actually don't like to wear blue jeans anymore just because girl it'd be looking crazy when you try to wear a cool tone i mean a warm tone outfit you got on blue cool tone jeans and it pisses me off so i'm forcing myself to like get out of that mindset because it's very annoying and it makes my life so hard for no reason i have to put this shirt on off camera because i don't want to be showing nips so i'll be right back two seconds please if i could even get this shirt on because it's so damn small beautiful great wonderful my head <laughs> too big for that shirt so it's too small so we have to go back to the drawing board um do i have any i have another like off-white colored shirt i just don't know where it is we might just have to settle for this american eagle bright white that's gonna make me so upset though like the bright white it's our last resort our last resort now if i had a dirty boyfriend i could just get a dirty wife beater but that's ugly that should have never left my mouth oh my gosh do i not have any like non-bright white shirts hello so I can't find my other shirt. So we might just have to wear the white and call it a day because I really want to wear this jacket. But I need nipple covers. Let me put these on. Don't look. Okay. The nippy covers are on. Let me put on my shirt. This isn't so bad. I love nipple covers because I don't have any bra lines, none of that. I'm just going to take this robe off my bottom half. Take my phone out the pocket before I fling it across the room. I only tried these on one more time before this one to see if they fit. And they fit pretty good. They definitely have the baggy look they're a little loose in the waist because my weight has been fluctuating a lot and it's kind of getting on my nerves they fit pretty nice well let me button them first <laughs> i can show you this is the bottom this is how much space i have in the bag like it's really it's really not that bad now love is it i just feel like every time my ear piercings get tight i fear that they're gonna close because i didn't wear any earrings yesterday because i need to let my ears breathe so i've been trying to get in the habit of taking them on and off and everything at night give my ears a break why well, i just try to put my earring and i had to wiggle that hoe in there it don't just slide in. It's supposed to just slide. I don't know what it is, but my piercings get so tight when you take anything out of them for like more than 12 hours and it's so irritating. So if you ever wonder why I have studs in my ears all the time, that's definitely why because I I can't leave them out. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna put on my, my little padlock, not padlock, Huh? I'm gonna put on my little padlock necklace today, but it is downstairs, but we are gonna do some skincare very quickly I think I want to listen to music though. No, I like to dissociate when I do my skincare day list for the day Masterpiece golf Wednesday morning first five Tyler creator gold link Steve Lacey Isaiah Rashad Drake and SZA. I can get behind that. Okay, let's do skincare I'm talking about some let's do skincare girl. You're not even doing that much I'm done getting dressed. Is it giving face? I think it is. Let me get my jacket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I think we made the right decision wearing this today. Because if the high is going to be 75, if I get hot, I literally could just take this off. What is bothering me is that this is bright white instead of this kind of age white like I was looking at before. But I think it's fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But we need to talk bags because I don't know which one I should bring today. I could bring my cause tote that you guys all know and love, or I could bring this because I also recently got this. There's a few things in here that I'm just gonna like throw on the floor, but let's let's take a look. Do we like the way this looks? I think this looks pretty good. I mean, what do we think? I thought I was gonna hate this, but I actually like don't, so I'm pretty happy. I kinda like how this looks, so I think we're gonna have this bag today. Although I don't like to wear shoes that match my top like directly. <laughs> 
I wear shoes that matches like details on the top of my like shirt, but I don't like like if I have a black, red, and white shirt on, I'm not gonna black. I'm not gonna wear black, red, and white shoes. I just think that's a little bit silly, don't you think? Okay, we're dumping this on the floor. Also, let me grab my current read. I'm reading Twilight for the first time. This is so fall core. I love the Twilight movies, but I've never watched. I've never read the books. I just thought during the fall time it would be super fun to read for the first time. So I literally got all four books. So that's coming with me wherever I go in case I get bored. I'm caught waiting. So I'm trying to also spend less time on my phone and everything. Y'all know the deal with that. All right, let's go downstairs because I also have to feed my dog. Well, I gave Cashew eggs this morning. That's why I made so many. Come on, Bubba. Let's go. He, you playing. You need to go potty. Hey, good morning. Me and Cashew, sorry, this is a really bad angle. Cashew and I are working with Walmart this month to like promote their pet stuff. I work with Walmart pets a number of times because quite frankly, save money, live better Walmart forever and always, baby. You know how we're coming. They gave me like 200 bucks to like spend on dog stuff. And I found this like Gap hoodie and it's so adorable. I think he looks so cute, but my dog personally loves wearing clothes. I don't know if he's just weird or he's not like other dogs because his hair isn't that thick. It's more like on the fine side. It's always, oh, your dog has hair. He doesn't need a coat. His hair is thin as Okay, I have my sunglasses. I need my AirPods. I have my, I don't know why I'm doing a what's in my bag. I'll just talk to you guys when we're in the car. I'm currently in the car, obviously. Don't know why I'm updating you on that because you obviously have eyes and or can hear because you hear the music and you hear my tires rumbling on the floor. Don't really know why I did all that. I'm actually on my way to Starbucks. I know, we're sick and tired of me going to Starbucks, but instead of me getting my default order, I'm actually gonna be trying some of y'all's orders over the next couple vlogs throughout October and November. I feel like Starbucks peak, like for drinks is the holiday season. So Christmas drinks, fall drinks. So you know what? I went ahead and posted on my spammy spam because that's the account I'm most active on. And I was like, you know what? Quickly, I need you to send me your fall drinks immediately because I'm about to go order it in less than like 20 minutes. <laughs> so you guys actually sent me a good amount of orders. So if you ever sent me your order, thank you so much. Just know I do in fact try them on and off camera. I be wanting to try new stuff. And let me just say, some of y'all have really good taste or some of y'all taste is really questionable. I'm actually, hence, I'm gonna be trying a chai latte for the first time i've never had chai like in my life and i'm very excited to be trying it out because it's either chai or matcha where everybody's lives are together like if you like chai and or matcha not together but like if you like them together cool but if you don't like them together like separate drinks like you're good i feel like anybody who likes chai and or matcha their lives are just always together and they just seem so happy i don't know what it is i i just I trust it. I will say today I actually have a nail appointment because I'm trying to get into the habit of always making sure my hair is dealt with and my nails are dealt with and my toes are dealt with but I feel like those aren't even expensive maintenance type of things just because I feel like I just look more put together when you know like I have my nails done even when my hair isn't done I feel like as long as my nails and toes are done I'm like good but I'm trying to get into the habit of experimenting with hairstyles a little bit more hence the reason I got Schmedium Knotless this time if you didn't see the weekly vlog you should definitely tap it. So we're on the way to Starbucks right now now it's currently 10 23 i don't know if i said that but i just want y'all to know over the past like couple weeks this is probably the best timing i've had for leaving the house i technically was ready to leave the house at 10 05 but i was trying to post the instagram thing i was going through my email and i didn't want to show y'all all that because it's annoying and you guys just got a productive week in my life we're trying to have a fun day not work related so why would i do that and i also um was trying to make is that a dog at the construction site hello i also was trying to make my grocery list because we're going grocery shopping today and i'm actually going to be cooking today we're going grocery shopping and we're getting my nails done i'm not telling you anything else we're doing today because those are the two guarantees that i absolutely have to do everything else is kind of like optional for funsies i don't know i just feel like we needed to hang out for a day and i was like you know what to fix this we're gonna do some daily vlogs like day in my life because we love the weekly vlogs but you guys love a long vlog no matter if it's a week or a day i'm technically supposed to be trying these for tiktok but you guys are getting the exclusive today so maybe i'll try some other ones like another day i've never been through this drive through before damn this line is long also i did my lashes this morning a lot of you guys asked me for like a at home lash extension tutorial and i have one posted but if you want i will literally just make another one because i do my lashes every three to five days depending on how i feel yeah this makeup today is eating it's eating it's eating i don't know that guy's name but he's hilarious i could see us being friends no shade but he didn't follow me back on TikTok. You know, one thing about me, I'm gonna use and abuse that verification mark. Cause if you didn't know, I'm on TikTok part-time. I mean, I say part-time. I'm on TikTok a lot of the time and I'm verified on TikTok. Usually anybody I follow will follow me back just because I'm verified. Half the people that follow me, I'm convinced there's no reason that they just follow me. It was just cause I was verified. Cause I didn't really start posting on TikTok until like 
recently and that's fine and everything but i forgot where i was going with this i'm so sorry i saw the tag on this bag if you're interested in getting this bag this is the bagu bag from urban outfitters they oh shit i need to move do i get like anxiety because i be muttering and stuttering and sputtering but if i spoke out loud more i would know how to articulate myself better i keep like moving my camera because it keeps saying that it's not like straight like level straight so i'm sorry if it keeps like moving because i keep moving i need to spray in my mouth because it probably smells like eggs that's disgusting i'm sorry crap i'm literally about to have coffee just silly anyway there was this like debate on twitter a day or two ago a week or two ago a month or two ago i don't know all the days are blending together they were discussing if people brush their teeth before or after they eat breakfast and i'm definitely a before girly you guys know this i don't know what it is but i don't like that film that you get like in your mouth when you wake up one second hi can i have a grande iced chai latte with extra pumpkin foam and extra caramel drizzle a grande what now uh iced chai latte with extra pumpkin cold foam Pumpkin foam, okay. And extra caramel drizzle. Extra drizzle, okay. And that's all. All right, may I have a name? Aaliyah. I have a gift card or two with a few cents on it. About to drive you crazy. All right, we'll keep standing until we get <laughs> to stop. Thank you. I think I've scanned five cards before, so don't worry about it. The 84 cents. So, <laughs> so missed, close. You missed, you missed the, I know you missed the record. You almost tied the record. Thank you so have much. You day. have a good day. I hate when I go to Starbucks and they okay so if you ever use the starbucks app by the way this is gorgeous um if you ever use the starbucks app you like can't clean out the like you can't drain the account to like zero cents like you can't do zero dollars zero cents i don't know what problem is where that math started but it's very annoying and very like pesty i don't like that if i ever want to clear out gift cards that have like 30 cents because i don't want to reload them because i kind of defeats the entire purse of the gift card i just go through the window and i'm like i'm sorry but babes you have like five cards to scan <laughs> i have so many gift cards from like christmas like my birthday from like my family it's just wow like oh my goodness so i'm putting this trash in my door this is the starbucks drink is this not gorgeous spelled my name in the most interesting way this is a grande iced chai with pumpkin cold foam all right let's try it hold on i need i need silence <laughs> I need silence. But maybe I should just make a TikTok of this. I'm gonna make a TikTok. You guys are gonna get both my. Maybe I should put my car in park. Okay. Hi. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my Jesus. One, two, three. Before I think too much, we're gonna taste it. It's very pumpkin y. And I usually don't like pumpkins, but I think the caramel drizzle is bringing it down to earth. A six and a half out of 10. This isn't too bad. Shout out to the person who did this because this is really good. It's actually a pretty, I don't know why the lighting's being so like weird in my car today. I think it's because my camera's in a different spot than it usually is on the windshield. Should I move it? I'll move it for you. Cause I know it's probably annoying. That, well, I'll fix it in color correcting. I'm tweaking. Girl, you're talented. Don't think too much about it. I was originally gonna go grocery shopping first and I just feel like that doesn't make any sense. The other thing that I had on my agenda today was to go book shopping but the gag is i literally was at barnes and noble last night i was at barnes and noble last night i think i still want to go back and get some fall themed books because something tells me as i'm reading the twilight series i might not want to read it straight through just because i heard there's some wicked things in this book and like very heavy topics that they left out of the movies at least that's what i've personally heard i mean and granted some of the things did in fact make it to the movies because why is jasper a confederate soldier could have just been in the military could have just been in an army like none of that he had to be a confederate so okay jacob imprinting on renez met first of all that name jail time i still love the movies despite its faults they're very fun movies nobody ever said that they were good i think i'm gonna go to barnes and noble again today just to pick up a book or two more i don't know if i told y'all this but i was the last book y'all have seen me reading was good as dead it's, and it's the last book of the good girl's guide to murder series and i dnf'd it because one i got bored and two i didn't feel the itch or hunger to like keep reading it and finish the storyline it was just a whole thing and it put me in a reading slump and that was like two months ago so i'm glad i'm getting into some stories that actually bring me some type of joy such as twilight i love to read it's just when i get put into a reading slump it literally feels like the hardest thing in the world to like pick up a book and start it i feel like starting a book is the worst part of reading you're basically starting from scratch and i feel like that's with every like kind of habit starting is like the hardest part but that's not the point of today's video so i think i want to get like one or two more mystery horror type books because i want to get back on my reading grind especially since i'm playing with an editor now i definitely have the time you do a stuff that i actually like besides i mean i love 
love doing YouTube, but like things outside of like making money. I want to start doing that. 66 degrees. The leaves are turning. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fresh, feeling wonderful. I think I'm ready to go book shopping with you all. But I remember when I did like a little fall vlog, I think two years ago now, because it was 2021. And me and Eber went book shopping and we're gonna go to the same Barnes and Noble that we went there. And it just feels so nostalgic because I just associate reading and books with the fall time. And I don't know if that's my fault. I don't know if school geared me to be like that, but I just think it's so fun to do in the fall. You could literally just cozy up on a rainy day, orange leaves on the ground, they're crunching with a nice iced chai latte with pumpkin cold foam, extra caramel drizzle. And you could simply just immerse yourself in somewhere that's not here. I have always loved reading since I was a kid. Like when I was a kid, Magic Tree House, Geronimo, still and it was it was my stories i used to love reading i would literally get books on christmas and read them within a day my parents never had to force me to read because i always loved it I'm 23, loving and learning from all the levels that I see. Fans with the music, but they want a politician. Pressure, 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 pressure. I don't know if y'all know this, but I was a pretty big Amina fan. So when he dropped his little piece with Kay Trinata, I literally almost lost my mind. I love that masterpiece. Um, I think it's a very good project, and I 10 out of 10 recommend. Anytime it's like, oh, I want to send a music, listen anything by Amina, especially shut the I love this song. I've been loving this song since it came out. 2017, to be precise. Let's see if I actually stick to my word about getting fall books <laughs> and not know whether bullsh** because every time I come to Barnes & Noble, I can never just get what I originally needed to get or wanted to get because something else catches my eye. And quite frankly, I thought it was a part of like the Target epidemic that we've experienced as like an American country. Target is definitely one of those places where you go going for one thing and then you leave with 10 things you didn't need because you didn't know you needed them until you saw them and i feel like i have the same thing with barnes and noble but the thing is i feel like i have that problem no matter where i go so whose fault is it really i just can't help that it's so comfy and cozy in here it's literally not my fault it's it's not my fault i don't know what you're talking about So I'm back from Barnes and Noble. As you can see, we're back in the car. We're chilling like a villain. I'm gonna turn my car off actually because there's no reason for it to be on. So I apologize for that. I'm gonna give you a haul of everything I got from Barnes and Noble today. So I got four books. Yes, didn't I say I wanted one or two? Yes, and I'm not mad. I spent a total of $54 in there and that includes my membership discount because if you didn't know, Barnes and Noble actually has like a premium membership now and I got it when I went last time. And they even have the little, the little car it's not so cute it's like $40 for the year but it's like 10% off every single trip that you go you get a free tote you get like all this extra stuff I think it's worth it especially if you're a really avid book reader who likes to buy books instead of rent them like I do Every time I go I'm saving at least five to twenty dollars depending on how big of a book haul that I get if you're interested in reading I'll definitely like get into that because it's, it's a really good membership but anyway I'm gonna give you a haul of what I got so like I said I got four books the first book that I actually picked up was the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle this is a fiction mystery Mystery, but basically this girl dies every day at the party and in order for her deaths to stop They have to find the killer and then solve the murder and prevent it from happening for her to live So she keeps dying every single day until this happens and I think that's so fun when I personally look for books like in the bookstore I have to see how long the chapters are and as you can see on page 219 we're on chapter 31 so this is a very fast-paced book in my opinion i personally prefer shorter chapters because as somebody who gets in the zone of reading i like having the option of where i can stop reading and not feel like i have to finish 20 more pages for a chapter to be done i'll read books with longer chapters like for example i'm literally reading twilight first chapter i just spit everywhere that's disgusting the first chapter is literally like 40 pages i mean 20 something pages in this book and it doesn't seem like the chapters stop anytime after that chapter 15 is on 255 so as you can see i can tolerate it it's just not like my favorite thing in the entire world if that makes sense oh that's really good and i think of fall i think mystery thriller horror dark academia all that so i'm excited to get into that one next this is just a fiction book it's called in five years by rebecca searle on the back it says girl basically nails her career dream job interview she gets proposed to says yes everything's going right but then she wakes up in a different apartment with a different ring on her finger and beside a different
important man. She spends exactly one hour, five years in the future before she wakes up in her own home at the brink of midnight and it's one hour she cannot shake. What do you mean she wakes up five years into the future and she's only there for an hour? I love stuff like this because I love self-realization books. This one's also very fast paced because on page 158 we're on chapter 24. And then I did pick up a Dark Academia book. This is in the Dark Academia section. This is the Grimrose Girls by Laura Pohl. I hope I said her name correctly because if not, that's really embarrassing. But basically, let me skim real quick. Okay, basically, this girl dies and her friends are trying to figure out what happened. When somebody arrives their newest roommate, a bunch of like series of events happen and then they have to retrace their friend's final day. Come to find out they're a part of this like ancient fairy tale curse that and all their fates are tied to the stories and then basically it dooms them to like inevitable death unless they can like break the cycle for good so i thought this was super duper fun also very fast paced chapter 28 is on page 178 i always like to mention short chapters when i talk about like books that i got or like i recommend because some people can't do long chapters and if you're trying to get back into reading i think short chapters are really for you because it feels like a lot faster than it actually is like i said i like to have the option of being able to stop and read something whenever without feeling like i have to read 30 more pages for me to pause because me personally i don't like to stop in the middle of chapters so i like to stop or start on new chapters not in the middle of them yeah and also this is like my first real year trying to really get into fall reads because i have like some like i have i have the guide to slaying vampires book i just never read it. i got like two chapters and didn't finish it because i probably just wasn't that interested in it but i want to give it another try because i hear it's really popular and it's really good more just really good not has to do with the popular thing but i just want to get into that and read it and i want to really just set the tone because i feel like you can really make a season feel like a really good season based on the media you take in and the media you surround yourself with because I just think it would be fun. Hopefully I can do a fall reading wrap up because I wanna read a lot and I don't wanna limit myself to like one month because I did a September TBR on TikTok, Instagram, well not Instagram, I post on Instagram, but um, TikTok and YouTube and I didn't read any of those books because I was in that bad of a reading slump all of September. We are mid-October, I'm just now starting to read Twilight. Literally over almost a 20 year old book. Are we kidding? Like, come on. And I just thought it would be fun because I originally was gonna get this for a video and like title it reading the Twilight series at 21. Reading the Twilight series for the first time at 21 years old and then like put whatever i felt like in the little asterisks but you guys don't really like book content so maybe i'll just like put little updates and vlogs or maybe like collection of like responses and thoughts maybe i'll do like mini book reviews i don't know you guys give me ideas because you guys love my book content in short form but not long form and that's definitely doable because i'm not as dedicated to reading as like other booktubers or book talkers so i just think there's a way to integrate it if i want to yeah i didn't read shit in october and i felt really bad for it but i was like girl it's a hobby you don't need to be pressured to like do it <laughs> do everything i think the only reason i felt pressure was because i said i wanted to read four books september then i didn't read anything and now y'all are like oh my gosh we need reviews girl how am i gonna review something i never read it is no jab at you by the way i'm i'm talking to myself i'm looking at myself i'm talking to myself okay just just let me be the final thing that i read was kingdom not read the final thing that i bought was kingdom of the curse by carrie maniscalco 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 Carrie Maniscalco. Apparently, this girl is trying to avenge her sister, and this girl is literally in hell. And she gets trapped, and then backstabbing happens, and then she has to unlock the mysteries of her own past and uncover the answers she craves as long as her sins don't catch up to her first. What sins do we have? Like I said, I read that as long as her sins don't catch up to her first, and was like, bitch, I need to know what she did. I need to know what she did. Because first of all, why are you in hell? Why are you in hell, girl? Like, what did you do to get here? I mean, granted, a lot of people will be seeing hell, because a lot of evil people in this world but what did you do specifically that made you get there and what do you mean they can't they can't catch up to you first before you finish your job oh i was like i need to read this this is a slower paced book because chapter 18 starts on page 244 so this one's probably going to take me a little bit longer but three out of the four books i got today are a little bit more fast paced which is what i personally need in a book because like i said i like the options it's that in the third and everything that just comes with it it's currently 11 41 and i think it's about that time where i either should do an errand that i've been pushing off or go grocery shopping actually so i have a few bags in my back seat i don't think you could see they're in my trunk never mind they're in my trunk and i have to do some amazon returns at kohl's because child one thing about me i'm going to return something from amazon because they make it so easy especially at kohl's you literally show up show the barcode go about your day so i have some things that i have to return because in my fall vlog what did i do i went to go organize under my sink but everything that i bought to go under my sink it doesn't fit so i was like you know what i'm not even gonna do anything about it i'm just going to go ahead and return it see what happens there's a kohl's and concord mills if i'm not mistaken i don't really like going over there but that's the only kohl's that i know 
Oh wait, no. Paul's down the street. See, this is why you always double check where you're going before you go. I would have to drive like 30 minutes to the Coles that I thought was the nearest one and I just would have been loud and wrong. Why be loud and wrong when I could just double check what I'm doing? I'm gonna show y'all the books that I got last night too because I need to know if any of y'all read it because I need to know if it's good or not. And well, okay. I feel like being somebody who openly like reads is cool and everything until it's time to discuss what interests me and get recommendations from y'all because last time i was like oh my gosh y'all i need book recommendations give me something to read y'all told me to read verity by colleen hoover and then it ends with us by colleen hoover and those have without a doubt been two of the worst books i've ever read in my life i've just come to the conclusion that i do not like that lady and then y'all try to turn around and be like oh wait no no no, no. those aren't her best books read ugly love and i have ugly love at home but i just haven't picked it up since i read those two wretched books because i don't want to subject myself to that type of stuff because you can like what you like but if i openly was like oh i hated this book but y'all were like oh wait no read this because it's better same person and i still didn't like it and you're gonna turn around and tell me to read the same person again and say that's better i don't like her writing style it feels like wattpad i will always say that anybody who didn't thoroughly read wattpad and they were a preteen it'd be showing because they like colleen hoover now she's just not for me guys i might try to like give ugly love away i was gonna hate read it for like a reading vlog but we don't like reading vlogs on this channel so i'm not even gonna waste your time and get your hopes up for a sunday video why are they playing christmas music this is dangerous territory because coles has the cutest home stuff i mean look at this music look at the fall stuff y'all it's probably expensive as though five dollars what? Oh, it's fifty percent off. Oh my god, that's just ridiculous. But these are so cute. The little pumpkin pillows. Which is this? Oh, oh baby, no. Oh no. Seventeen dollars for that. Um. Just walk in. How did we end up here? <laughs> How did we end up here? I just arrived at Trader Joe's because it's officially time to do some grocery store damage. Some classic Aaliyah damage. One of my favorite creators on TikTok, he actually goes to Trader Joe's a lot and he quote unquote blacks out in Trader Joe's because he just gets so into like what they have and picking up stuff and it's a whole thing and I think it's super fun. I don't... I don't think I'm going to necessarily black out in the Trader Joe's per se, but I will say I am in fact going to do some damage. I only brought one reusable bag. I need to get in the habit of not bringing 10,000 because something I will do is bring 10 reusable bags, use all 10, and then get mad when I have to carry them inside. What type of sense does that make? You literally brought this on yourself. I will say I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, so I think I'm gonna buy stuff for lunch as well that I can eat when I get home because I didn't realize, first of all, why is it only 1 p.m.? This day has been dragging. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because I have something I'm looking forward to later, like in the day. Today I feel like has just been dragging and I don't know why, but it's even very much I'm gonna have time to do stuff that I wanna do when I get home. We're gonna go spend some money again. I usually, I'm trying to like get out of the habit of thinking that I have to do all this shopping and like getting stuff in vlogs in order for the vlog to be interesting when realistically that is not normal for the average person because I'll literally go to the bookstore, grocery shopping, granted I wanna do all this within like a span of two weeks and i was like let me just do it in a day i promise you i don't spend this much money this often um sometimes i just be needing sh and i'm like oh well i'm vlogging today so i might as well like go do it but anyway i'm gonna go into trader joe's let me get my bag we're going to see what we can make out of these ingredients at the store Go ahead and start putting in your guesses for how much it costs. Let me just tell you. I got steak, two things of chicken, two things of smoked salmon, a bunch of, I low-key got a lot of new stuff. Um, that's pretty ugly. I actually can't stand people who intentionally, like they know they parked bad, but they don't do anything to fix it. There's a truck actually parked here now. It's not near me, thank God, but he's literally up on the curb. Like he's on the sidewalk. Do you see that? He literally didn't even try. I spent $148 at Trader Joe's and this is what I got. First thing we got from Trader Joe's, I got a five pound bug, bug? bag of russet potatoes. I make mashed potatoes with, I made mashed potato once and all of a sudden I make mashed potatoes with these all the time. This one I made mashed potatoes with last time and they were pretty good. Two things 
of these um, Trader Joe's peanut butter chewy coated drizzle granola bars. These Quaker has some competition. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you. These are like Trader Joe's version of Nutri-Grain bars. I got the apple ones before and wasn't really a big fan, so I decided to try strawberry this time. Also, if you hear the TV in the back, Cash is watching Bluey. He does, in fact, watch television. I got some lemons, because I want to make some lemon chicken, smothered lemon chicken, whatever. Got two avocados, because I'm officially in my I just need to like this vegetable era, because I did it with onions, I did it with mushrooms. I obviously can just convince myself that I like something in the blink of an eye, so that's what we're gonna be doing. I feel like I was naked without my jacket. I got this multi-purpose cedar wood and sage cleaner, because it looks like it smelled like fall, and that Myers little acorn spray thing, Every time somebody comes over here, or even sometimes I'm just like, oh, it just smells so good in here. Because it smells so excellent in here all the time because that's right. I also got a thing of chicken broth. Got one fruit this week. Grapes. Tomatoes. I forgot to get cucumbers. That's what it was. I usually like um, grape tomatoes and cucumbers as like a snack. And when I say a snack, I mean I get a whole cucumber and cut it up and then eat like half this pack with it. It's better than me eating out, so I can't even complain. I didn't have any Parmesan cheese at home. So I got some Parmesan cheese, that's not interesting. We have some pineapple juice. I've never seen these in Trader Joe's, but the gag is they have mango ones too. And apparently it's not from like a concentrate, like it's 100% like the fruit. Bananas. Baby. Every time I go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, I feel like I have to fight tooth and nail to get one of these bags of chips. And today I left with two. Last time I left with three. I also got this huge thing of Tuscan pain bread. Because like I said, I want to be an avocado girly. And this involves avocado toast, feta cheese, all that shit. So I got special bread. These are the soft and juicy, like dried mandarin oranges. I prefer these over the... Actually, no. I still prefer the dried um, mangoes over these. But these are more bite-sized. They're still good but I just have a different preference sea salt brownies and brookies because every time I go I cannot pick which one I want so I just get both now we're getting into the meats this is the bag that smells crazy because there's salmon in here one um New York strip steak this was $12.80 for this piece and I'm gonna make steak bites with this I don't like tonight depending on when I'm done getting my nails done but whatever and then I got some chicken bread chicken breast tenders these were $7.19 and then I also got Skin on chicken thighs because I want to make some baked chicken and thighs are the best with moisture retention. I got these roasted potatoes. I am a big fan of the roasted potatoes that they normally have, but I haven't been able to find them in forever. Something tells me they're discontinued. I also got some more asparagus. I got some baby spinach. Um, I decided to get some heavy whipping cream as well. I got a few frozen lunch bowls. This is a sriracha shrimp bowl. I can't remember if I've tried this before. If it was good, I would have remembered it. So I'm going to try this. I'm not the biggest fan of hot food, so I don't know what made me... Get this two chicken burrito bowls. Can never go wrong with a burrito bowl. Especially if you add a little cheese in it. Yeah, yeah. The mandarin orange. One of these is gonna get bodied very soon because I'm hungry right now. Well, actually, my hunger kind of went away, so maybe not. I got some diced onions because I finally found the pre-diced vegetables at Trader Joe's. Crumbled feta cheese. I'm thinking avocado toast with feta cheese on a little bit of lemon toasted, you know? I don't know. Just that's what it sounded like. Hey, what? How do you pr how do you say this? Prosciutto? Pr Prosciutto, lightly smoked and sliced prosciutto meat. If I have avocado toast and I'm tired and I want a meat and a protein on it, aside from the avocado, I can just put this on top. I've never had this meat in my life, mind you. Prosciutto with ham. It says ingredients, ham, salt, sugar, potassium nitrate, and sodium nitrate. This is just ham, Italian ham. My bad. Prosciutto, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know if Trader Joe's has that, but I wanted to try the prosciutto with the arugula and the mozzarella and the, oh, yeah, all that. I just couldn't find it. I like smoked salmon when it comes, cause I remember, I, okay, I went to Miami last year and I got like this smoked salmon avocado toast from like this brunch spot. It was really good, I posted about it. And I've been thinking about it ever since and that made me realize, hey, maybe you kind of do like avocado. You just have to have it like in moderation in a certain type of way for you to like thoroughly enjoy it. I decided to get two types of smoked salmon. This is just a regular smoked salmon, sliced, ready to serve, nothing crazy. And this is the everything but the bagel salmon and it's like seasoned. I don't know, I just think it would be good if I put like with avocado on toast with some feta. So that's everything I got. $148.84 for 41 items. For 41 items. I'm gonna go ahead and put these, oh, one more thing. People keep asking me if I recommend like Trader Joe's like as a grocery store. I don't really know what that means, 
but I will always say if you are living by yourself or just fending for yourself and maybe like one other person, Trader Joe's is good for you because this amount of food is insane. This is probably about a week's worth of food for 140 bucks. Granted, I didn't do anything crazy with like big juices or big snacks, but I'm not really a big snacky type of person. That's why the things I did get were pretty small. If you have like a family of five, absolutely not because I'm convinced Trader Joe's makes meals for single and or coupled up people. Once you get past that two person threshold, baby, it's just like any other grocery store. And this has come from somebody who's been living by themselves since 2020. And let me just say, I feel like I've spent the least amount of money but gotten the most like outcome of stuff from Trader Joe's because I didn't really start going till about two years ago. And I noticed just how much more convenient it was as somebody who was feeding themselves as an individual. That's my little, if I recommend Trader Joe's spiel. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna put these groceries away now and I'll get back to you in two seconds. Maybe, I don't know, maybe three. Okay, I was just filming my Target haul and my camera cut off, so I'm thinking like the battery died, this, that, and the third. I even tried on the new stuff that I bought. Tell me why my camera like died in the middle of it, right? Nothing, no problem. I gotta make sure it recorded, got rid of all the footage. So I don't know why it keeps doing that. It usually never does that. So I think I need to go on Reddit and like figure out something, but I'm just gonna recap what I did because I don't feel like repeating and acting like it's the first time I tried stuff, especially because I opened it. I obviously tried stuff out. I mean, look at my face. Like, hello, like I'm not gonna sit up here in front. I went to Target and I got two toothpaste because I was running out and if you didn't know, I am in fact allergic to more strong toothpaste with a lot more like just harsh chemicals in it. It leaves like this weird film in my mouth and it's very like nasty. So I'm not gonna go into like extreme detail of that. I got two Burt's Bees. This is just the extra white flora toothpaste. This one removes stains, protects enamel, and prevents cavities, extra white, all that, just regular stuff. And this flavor is Mountain Mint and then this is the Burt's Bees Complete Multi-Care Flora Toothpaste that prevents cavities, deep cleans, gently whitens, strengthens enamel, removes stains, and fresh breath and has six total benefits so that's always fun and fresh then this is natural peppermint and I was going over all the makeup I got and I was trying out the swatches and everything you guys couldn't even see it because my camera just wanted to say F you and call it a day and quite frankly I think this is what happened when I filmed my girl talk because if you watch my weekly vlog I talked about how I filmed like a really long girl talk and I had to stop recording and it, I started again and the camera like died in the middle of it and I started recording again because it was clearly like recording and everything I think it just dies and then the memory card doesn't save the thing that's in the middle of what's being recorded, which is so annoying. So I don't know what's going on. I definitely should like figure out what's going on because how much you wanna bet this footage is gonna keep counting. Cause it, my footage usually counts like one, two, three, four. But when that happens, it'll go like one, two, four, five, six, seven, nine, like it'll just skip it. And I don't know why it does that. So if you have any idea, please let me know. I decided to get two Maybelline Fit Me uh, Prouse Powders. These are the matte and poreless ones. This is shade 120 Classic Ivory and this is shade 130 Buff Beige. I remember when I first started doing makeup, after I stopped rating my mom's like powder foundation, I got Maybelline Fit Me because it was the most inexpensive one. And then Maybelline also has an amazing shade range for a drugstore like line in my opinion. And I just remember myself being shade 130 Buff Beige. Like it just stuck out to me. And I decided to get one of up in case I wanted to have like a bright and under eye or anything like that. So yeah, that's that. Then I got two Revlon lip liners. As you can see, we tried out these and then the lipstick I got, this is Revlon for lustrous lipstick in the shade 460. And then these are the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liners. This in the shade Mauve and this is in the shade Nude. And I originally decided to get this brown because I've been wanting to experiment with brown lip liner, but I've been scared. So I was like, let me try and go light so far. Then this mauve is like closer to my natural skin color. Well, not skin color, but lip color. So I just to get that then the lipstick is also pretty not like far off from my natural colors you can see it's just a little bit darker than it so i love that i then also picked up this is not used i just used it on my face but i picked up this um elf pointed powder and I usually see people apply these with like powdered blushes and that's actually the reason I got it because I've been wanting to try out some powder blush this is the elf primer infused blush but it pat this is the elf primer infused blush blush base in the shade stay nope and the shade always cheeky so i think this will be really good and so far i think it's a pretty good match i even took a little screen recording of while i was um whatchamacallit while i was trying on the makeup and i'll insert it right now so i'm a little bit more washed out on this camera than i am in person i wish that footage were there because you guys could have got my genuine like first reactions and stuff like that but you know things happen not really tripping yes it's a bag full <laughs> let's get into barnes and noble book haul part two because girl oh, i'm out of breath 
Man, we're moving on. Y'all know I went to go buy the Twilight book. I bought the whole series, baby. I got Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn. I got all of them because like I said, I originally was gonna do this for a video, but now I'm doing it of pure want. I've never read them. And like I said, I love the Twilight movies. So I just feel like there's no reason why I've never read the books. Well, I was really young when the movies came out. I was no more than like, Eight. I was not even in double digits yet, but I have vivid memories of going to my cousin's house and they would have like a Jacob cutout in their room. And after watching the movies, I don't ever see how anybody can be team Jacob because he's a sicko and a freak. I'm not team Edward either, but I feel like Edward's the lesser of the two evils. Like I said, I picked up the final series or the final book of the Inherited Games, even though I haven't read the second book yet. This is the final gambit uh, by Jennifer Lynn Barnes because it came out over the summer and I was like, might as well. And then finally, I picked this up. This is Ninth House by Lay Bardugo by Leigh Bardugo. And I picked this up because one of my favorite booktubers, Haley Pham, actually read Ninth House and said it was really good and it's a dark academia. So that's always wonderful, very excited to read. Considering all the books I bought today, the books I bought yesterday, I really should be good for this entire fall season. I would ideally like to read a good majority of these books by, I'm gonna say like Christmas because it is a lot of books and I do in fact have a job to do. I don't have an editor full time yet. I need to figure out a way to like get all these out my system because I need to fill my time up with something other than trying to make money. Tell me why we had to move my appointment again. I still had my outfit on because I was fully expecting to be leaving the house within like 30 minutes-ish. I was editing my video back there and everything like that, but we had to move and cancel the appointment again till maybe tomorrow. I'm supposed to be vlogging tomorrow, so if I go, y'all will see the video, but I just, wow. I'm not even tripping about it because I God gave me this job, the universe gave me this job. This job lets you basically do whatever I want whenever I want, so I cannot trip about cancellations because I literally can just go whenever I want. I have the movie going on in the back and I don't feel like pausing it, so. Okay, let's do the mash with a little gravy. Steak bite mash and gravy. Mmm, so tender. It's a few hours later. My boyfriend and I just watched two episodes of The Walking Dead. So it's about 10.30 right now and I'm trying to get in the bed earlier and earlier every night. And that requires me to actually shower and get in the bed at a reasonable time. I'm gonna go ahead, get in the shower, wash my butt. I'm gonna come out and then we're gonna close today's video. I feel like today was a really solid day and I'm glad I spent it with you guys because y'all feel like I have to spend most of my errands. Hold on, I have to pee. Two seconds. Like I was saying, I feel like a lot of the time, I spend a lot of my time just, you know, alone and it's not always the best type of feeling. It gets kind of lonely, but I feel like I could always bank on you guys to be there when I feel like I don't have nobody. Does it feel amazing to be in my bed? The bonnet's back on. The big shirt is on. Can this shit be straight? Y'all. The big shirt's on. The bonnet's on. You know what time it is? Time to go to sleep. I don't know if anybody's using these strips. I'm pretty sure these are the most amazing strips that I, anybody's ever used. They're very popular. I feel like I make so much spit when I have these in. And then I don't know if I'm supposed to swallow it or not. And I'll be swallowing it. Never cared. I just wanted to close out today's video because you guys want me to do better with like ending video. Here we are in my bed, literally about to go to sleep. It's currently 
11.09 and it's time for me to go night night. I might read a little bit to like not make me sleepy but get off my phone within the last hour of when I'm going to sleep because I probably will in fact read till about midnight because I want to read Twilight tonight. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me for the entire day. I love carrying you guys around and it's just an amazing experience. I'm glad we get to experience daily life together. It makes it a little bit more interesting. If you guys like the day in my life vlogs, let me know. I'm more than happy to do them more often for you. With that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate you and love you so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. We'll be taking my trips out in six minutes. So six more minutes and I'm going to bed. But with that being said, thank you so much again for watching today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.